Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Super Sam 7 and this is my 700th video. And it is New Year's Eve 2024, and we are going to be looking at my gamer cards I have. One for Xbox, which I am doing my walkthroughs with, and one for my PlayStation, which I've been logging for years, ever since I got my very first Platinum Trophy, and I got 60. Yesterday I made my video on my 60th Platinum Trophy and kind of went through the trophies I had on there. But I figured not to go into uh, too much depth because, well... We're going to do that here. Do you see this? this is the Xbox page true achievements and that's I come right up here. Super Sam 4600 I have 748. Not gamer score but true achievement points. What is this? Hopefully it's not about game of the year awards. Probably uh high five rush. Ooh I didn't mean to view all. It doesn't matter. Uh, as you can see just from the top. My next achievements will be Uncle Benjamin and then two secret ones. The last ones I have gotten, end of act 2, 28 gamer score, or sorry, 20 gamer score, 28 true achievement points, cancel, 22 achievement points, 15 gamer score. These are all in Spider-Man's Terror Dimensions, this was all during the last level when I fought a uh, Deadpool. Two games I have played, Spider-Man Shatter Dimensions and Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Yeah, on the PlayStation 3, it did not have trophies for Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, or for Lego Indiana Jones or Lego Batman. So... That's kind of a little bit more interesting to look at right here. So let's just press my icon. And this is sort of my day-to-day, -day, I guess you could you could put it as. Uh, so I started July 30th, and I got five points in Spider-Man, Share Dimensions, Lead on M-Dubs, Asset First for completing the tutorial. And the same day I went on uh, here and registered on True Achievements. I think you had to have at least one ga gamer point to have it on here. These are the last ones I've gotten recent games. So, 21 achievements in Spider-Man Shared Dimensions and 11 achievements in LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, 210 Gamer Score in LEGO Star Wars TCS, and 340 in Spider-Man Shared Dimensions, which is my favorite Spider-Man game. So, uh, I've kind of been knowing what to do ahead of time while playing that. And I like how it also set, it kind of tells you the points you make, not really the, uh, True, the true achievement score points you get, not the gamer score. So, uh, let's look on August 20th. I got two achievements, and I got 23 points for No Harm Done, and 17 points in The Hammer Falls. No Harm Done, I think that's for defeating an enemy without dying or something like that. Uh, as you can see... September 8th, I got Who Needs Obi-Wan Achievement in LEGO Stories to Complete Saga for 13 points. Revenge of the Sith Achievement on October 27th for 26 points. Okay, you get it. Uh, I got the Vulture, Defeat Vulture, on October 28th for Spider-Man Star Dimensions for 20 points. The achievement is called The Caged Bird Squawks. Fire in a Hole Achievement in LEGO Stories to Complete Saga for 40 points. Stormtrooper Slayer, Kill 300 Stormtroopers on November 26th for 27 points in LEGO Star Wars and then these are all kind of stacked up was it on uh, December 3rd I got three ach achievements for 82 oh yeah like, look at that they total it up for you 82 true achievement points the uh took this thing out of him for defeating Scorpion and Spider's Grace achievement for Spider-Man 2099 free fall and I just noticed I know it doesn't say so on the screen and missed me I got that for not getting hit once in the Scorpion boss fight the first Scorpion boss fight of the level and I also had to do that one in less than two minutes, and I actually got it. There's three achievements I got, and one part which totaled up to 94 points and 60 gamer score points. Uh, defeat, or beat episode 4, New Hope. Use the Force Luke achievement, which I thought was just let go of the controller, but it was just to not fire during a certain moment in that level. And Fighter Ace. This destroy 50 of the TIE fighters. And then... Uh, back on December 17th, just about two weeks ago, three achievements for 119 points. Ain't no stopping, defeat 1,000 enemies. I got that. That gave me a full 69 true achievement points. Cancel, I gave me 20, and end of Act 2, 28. So, 30, oh, it says right here, two games, 32 achievements, 550 gamer score, 740 true achievement score. Uh, I don't know what the 2M means. 38%, I guess out of the two games I have, I have completed 38% of the points I can get in all of them. Which makes sense, I think. 1.36 ratio, I don't know what that means. But uh, that's all I can say right now for true achievements. Ooh, actually, no it is not, because if I press on... 
Let me come down here. I press on the game. I don't know. I do not know how long this video will be. I guess I'm making that excuse because it's my 700th one. You can see achievements. I've won 50% through this game. I think it's because of the uh, the trophies. 21 out of 42. So not one, and then 21. I I have not won. So secret achievements. There's that. Fanatic. I thought I was gonna get a uh, fanatic on the Deadpool level because there's like 138. I think I got on that level. Maybe 137. Click 500 spider emblems. Oh well. So you go up here. Look on the very very uh, right side and series on that's on Xbox six percent through I wish I did this on uh, the P PSN profiles 452 out of 14,831 true achievement points 34 out of 7,200 gamer score and 21 out of 301 achievements so six percent through all the spider-man games out of I think 21 yeah, 21 levels, and out of all the uh, Marvel games, or Marvel series, only 1%, 21 out of 1,583 achievements, 340 out of 38,200 gamer score, 400, okay, you get it, 452 out of 89,568 true achievement scores, wow. Uh, so, I'm going to go here to Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, and this is just what it looks like for Marvel. It tells you, uh... Where is it? Here it is. Spider-Man Shard Dimensions. 50% through. It tells you some stats right there. I don't know what that green bar is. That's definitely not 50% of this bar right there. And LEGO Star Wars Incomplete Saga. 11 out of 42 achievements. So 26%. 210. Gamer score. And 296 out of 1,895 true uh, achievement points. Wow, that's crazy how much there is to get still. So you can see the stuff I got there. The Lotus are the ones I have not gotten yet in order. And for this, because I love LEGO games. Oh, yeah, so they have three here. This is for the LEGO franchise. 0% through 0, big fat 0, but 11 out of 1,872 achievements. 210 out of 44,000 exactly gamer score. And 296 out of 85,854 true achievement score. For LEGO Star Wars, is that what it says? Yep. 5% through 11 out of 213 achievements, 210 out of 5,000 gamer score, and 296 out of 11,185 true achievement score. And then I think it's just the Star Wars series, 1% through 11 out of 957 achievements, 210 out of 20,000 gamer score, and 296 out of 56,592 true achievement score. So, that is all for Xbox. And on to the fun. There is Mass Effect 3, the last game I platinumed, or in, slash and got a trophy in. I said this before, but 57 completed games, 74 games played, 342 unearned trophies, 1.29 trophies per day, world rank 215,025, and country rank 60,802, and this is what it's going to be like um, going into the new year. 50% through level 337, 60 platinum trophies, 183 gold, 687 silver, and 2,574 bronze. A total of 3,504 trophies. So this is the main page. You can see I think the last 10 or 12 tells you what, what they are, what to do, and what a colored trophy is. This is all just DLC. Except, uh... No, this was all DLC, right? Yep. Odd days last for just today. Then at Mass Effect Trilogy, all S. S rank, 100% to them. Very rare. You can see my rarest trophies. Hoarder from Injustice, Metahuman from Injustice, Around We Go in Injustice. The King of the Street from 303 Freestyle. I was getting 51 on one wins. That actually wasn't hard. It just took time. And All Star in Injustice. I'm surprised that one was uh, ultra rare as well. 60 ultra rare trophies. Which is kind of funny. 60 platinum, 60 ultra rare, 201 very, 201 very rare, 493 rare, 1,510 uncommon, and 1,240 common ones. So here is my sort of uh, milestone. My first one, seven years ago, seven and a half years ago. Journey into the Night. The first trophy I got in Batman: Arkham Knight. Cat's Prince was my 500th one in Marvel's Spider-Man. My first Platinum was Batman Arkham Asylum three years ago. 
My 1,000th trophy was LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. My 10th platinum was in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. <laughs> Call time to put things right. My, this is such a weird trophy number to have. 1,337th trophy. Oops, what happened in LEGO Star Wars 3. 20th platinum was in LEGO Star Wars 3. 1,500th trophy was in Batman Arkham City Bronze Revenge. My 2,000th trophy was Krogan Ally from Mass Effect. 30th platinum was in LEGO The Hobbit. 2,500th 2, trophy was in uh, Just Cause 4. And then, uh, just starting this year, on January 15th, 40th Platinum was in Marvel's Avengers. Then my 3,000th trophy was in Watch Dogs Legion and Stay Down. 50th was in Injustice 2. Fastest Platinum was in Life is Strange 2. My latest Platinum, my 60th one, is in Mass Effect 3. And 7 Elite, that's awesome. And my 3,500th trophy, King of the Castle in Mass Effect 3. So that's kind of my big, <laughs> the biggest stuff I've gotten right there. A lot of S's this year from uh, Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Watch Dogs. The first Watch Dogs game, I got Platinum in 2 and 3. Lego Rings, Amazing Spider-Man. Eric, uh, I got an S in Lego World, Injustice 2 and S. The 4 Life is Strange games, Just Cause 2, Green Lantern, Deadpool. Okay, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, before that, look at all those S's right there. Arkham Origins, I'm going to play again. Probably this next year around uh, winter time, Christmas time, and move that one up to the top because then the, S, the S's will be lower. All st look at that. I guess I can try run it from the ashes again. I guess. And then move Lego Su Marvel Superhero Squad up again. Oh well. Persona 3 Reloaded. I cannot wait to play that, but not pre-order it because I just don't play pre-order video games. Anyway, you can see right here, it's nothing much to do on this home screen that you won't have seen already. So, let's go to Trophy Log. And when I had exactly 3,500 trophies, there was just 70 pages here. And it's only, this is going to be my first four, right? Yep, all in Arkham Knight. So, that was cool to happen. When there was only 3,500 trophies, there was only 70 pages, but they were all filled up because there's 50 trophies per page. And this is in a chronological order as me getting them. So, you can see right here my last 50 and uh, type all. You can look at the platinums. <coughs> Here's my last 50 platinums. I don't know if this will change if I hit all. Oh, wait, I just have to press the remove filters. There we go. Rarity. Ultra rare. I have 60 there, so we can see. And a chronological order as well. October 13th was my last ultra rare trophy. That was Friday the 13th. And just cost two. A lot of them were in Lego Worlds. 313 Freestyle. Injustice and Injustice 2. Call of Duty 3. Clicker Heroes. Batman and Arkham City on the PS3. And I think in Batman and Arkham Origins, there's one ultra rare one that I've gotten. Okay. What else can we look at? And I don't really need to care. Trophy Advisor. This is kind of annoying because this is just telling you what trophies you should get next because of the percent of people who have gotten them. So Dark Souls 3, uh, Call of Duty 3, Bloodborne, Remnant from the Ashes. Let's see number 5. 3 on 3 Freestyle. I'll probably get the ones in that game before. Uh, Call of Duty 3, uh, NBA 2K17. Madden 17, and just this one. Okay, you get it. It's so weird. Wait, Superhero Squad. Alright. Look at number 5, though. There's two trophies that have zero people marked as getting them on this website. Alright, don't know what that's about because I don't play those games. Stats, this is interesting here for me. So, 74... And yeah, I'm doing this one day before New Year's Eve. <clears throat> 74 games, 51 have been on the PS4, 23 have been on the PS3. My little brother has a PS Vita, so maybe someday I'll play on that. PS5 I have, but no, I haven't played any PS5 exclusive games. Or no, that, that's not what it means. But anyway, so the average rarity of my trophies I've gotten have been 40.88%, which I guess sounds normal. 
60 ultra rare, you get it. Game completion, 90 point, let me X out of that little thing right there. 90.59% average, 64 have been 80 to 100%, 2 have been 60 to 80%, 3 have been 40 to 60%, 3 have been 0 to 20%, 2 have been 20 to 40%. Okay, for trophies, 2,574 bronze, so you can just see a little circle chart there. For points, so out of 60 platinum trophies, it has gotten me 18,000 points exactly. That's so cool. Gold, 16,470 points, just a little bit less. Silver is the most, with, or second most, with 20,610. And bronze is the most, with 38,610. Game ranks, 57S, 14A. 0B, 0C, 0D, 3 and E, and 0 and F. So, the 3 E's I think are uh, uh, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and Remnant from the Ashes. This is kind of a very low, long monthly activity. As you can see, I really started ranking it up around uh, summer 2020. 208 in September. 179 in December 2020. Let's see, anything else? Eh, 103 in uh, June 2022 is kind of cool. 104 in May 2023. I only got 10 in August 2023. Huh. 130 in October 2023. I think that might have been because of the two Life is Strange games I played. 3 in November. Okay, this is kind of weird. I don't know how, how true that is. And it's my collecting. So as you can see, there's pl there's a uh, bronze. No platinums, no platinums, no platinums. There we go. Was my first platinum on... Uh, July 30th, 2020, I guess so. So you can see it right there. By time and day, that's all thrown off. Plus PS3, different time zone, and PS4. And PS5 will be different as well. So there's that. Level history is showing me what I got on the big uh, big uh, numbers there. So my last one was when I got to level 330. Now I was in Super Hero Squad Infinity Gauntlet. Super Revive Hero. Revive the teammate 10 times. 320 was in My 300th one was the Platinum and SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's see what my 200th one was. Complete this sum, a bronze trophy. Don't call them psychics and Lego DC supervillains. 100th one was Minimized Carnage. Defeat Carnage on any difficult level, the bronze one. So that's kind of cool. My first one to level 10 was uh, Obtain a Key. Of course, while I've been making these videos, they changed the leveling system. So. I probably would have been like level 20 right now instead of level 337 if they kept it the same. But really cool that this is a thing now. And that's all I have to say. I don't know what the forum profile is. Uh, so let's go back to my profile right here. And with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video looking at my two time cards in 2023. And have a great day.